in Paris, but it won't be easy. And Kimmy Meisner right now needing to come back. She is in fourth place. Well, she was hitting this jump, the triple axle, all over the place this morning on her practice. The last time she performed it in competition was at the Nationals two seasons ago. And that was the only time she's landed one in competition. Also in the mix here, Joni Rochette from Canada coming off a resounding victory at Skate Canada. And her jumps were beautiful in the short program. This long is much more suited for her style. It's Don Juan, very intense and Spanish. And speaking of big wins, we've already seen one in the series so far from one of the top guns from Japan. Miki Ando posted one of the highest scores we've ever seen at Skate America. Well, she's just a lovely skater, very strong. Watch for a triple let's triple loop planned. There you go. Wow. Look at how flawless that is. That has an 11 point base value. She really is quite the technician. But they are all chasing the youngster, the world junior champ from South Korea, Yuna Kim. Well, she is so composed and a beautiful skater. What amazes me about this young woman is that, that she has had five and a half pairs of new skates this year. Watch her right foot. That is a new skate. She's skating on an old left skate. Amazing. All right now, let's get the thoughts of Peter Carruthers. History repeats itself for Kimmy Meisner, but it's not the history that she wants. It was last season at this time, at this competition, that she fell in the short program on her opening triple Lutz triple toe. The exact same thing happened in the short program this year. Moments ago I was back with her coach Pam Gregory and she has said she's got the boxing gloves on. She's fired up. In fact in practice today she was doing triple axles. But Kimmy Meisner wants a good performance here so that it helps her with the chance of getting to the Grand Prix final. And as for Yuna Kim, remember the disaster she had in the free program at Skate Canada. She needs a good one to hold on.